Hello and welcome to another update video about Cardano. What's going on here today? So Cardano is fully delivering on the bullish potential. Um, I removed the imminent um, sell-off scenario from the chart. Yeah, as you will remember, we talked about one more low being quite likely. Um, I think this is still the case, but for now we are focusing on higher. The reason is simply that we broke above the previous wave for high. I told you in previous videos, as soon as we do this, which was the 37.2 cent level, the bullish scenario will get more likely. So that was one possible, one clear breakout point. Uh, and then we had the 50% retracement at 38 and a half cents. A move above that level basically made an imminent sell off very unlikely. And at the moment we can focus on higher and I'm telling you until which levels we can, or against which levels we can focus on higher because while this is now very good and it's possibly a turning point for this chart it is not confirmed yet at all a few things need to happen to confirm a bullish breakout but it is looking really good um again one more low was likely but i very i made it very clear here on the 21st of october and you will see it if you re-watch the video from that day that i said the bear market low could have been struck here at 33 cents because there was a way or there is a way to count this whole downtrend as complete and um, we expected a quite a strong retracement or recovery anyway that it would be that strong i didn't anticipate but we expected from here quite a strong recovery and possibly that the bear market low was already in now is this already the bear market low i think it's a bit too early to really confirm that but the um, bullish potential certainly stays now on firmer or stands on firmer ground with the latest pump to the upside and i'll tell you how i currently see the market now so at the moment i do count this as complete the low at 33 cents um always a bit skeptical of such a rally on a day like that it now needs to you know follow through as well at the moment as you can see it's only three waves up really we have a one two and three yeah and within the wave three we also have only three waves so this can still fail we haven't got five waves to the upside so that would then um, again put the bullish potential on even more firmer ground but i always ask in these videos you know how much confirmation do you want how long do you want to wait um and obviously this was a strong move against support we were massively oversold some of you might have gone long here congrats if you did um, the point now I want to make is that in my opinion this here was a wave one two we did count it like that in the previous video in the bullish count and this another one two setup and um, this then is the wave three of the larger wave three so what now needs to happen is basically a wave four retracement and a wave five of three and then we should see a wave four in green and a wave five in green. And that would put in place a larger wave one. Okay, so that would then be the sort of first wave here to the upside that we can um, look at. And then the retracement in wave two will determine um, if the bullish potential sort of uh, survives or if the chart will fail. But at the moment it's looking good. Um, in the previous video, I still had an ABC here as the primary scenario. So here the wave A, then a wave B down and the wave C to the upside would also have been a five wave move. So basically A, B, and then an impulse to the upside. But the point is this has moved up too much to be still a wave C, okay? So um, it would have to be something different, something more bullish. But um, at the moment I'm focusing on, um, yeah, basically the bullish count, yeah? just because we have invalidated the most likely bearish counts now with this strong move, something we discussed on Friday already. Now, um, but this is obviously a, a, a super move, right? This looks quite good actually. So um, it's the best that Cardano has done in a, in a while, which is, which is absolutely important. Now, the point is now, what level now do we need to hold to maintain the bullish potential? So first of all, very important is now, of course, this support level down here which is the 35.7 cent level very important to hold this one anyway but this is sort of more a substantial level what is very important now in the short term is the way four yeah so i think the way four could have started so what do we do we are now going to measure the um, retracement of wave three into wave four and i think wave four might have started now 
Ideally, what you would expect now is a way for retracement into the area between the 23.6% retracement and the 50% retracement. So between 40.2 cents and 38.5 cents. Going below 38.5 would be quite bearish, or at least it would not be bullish. It would allow it would not allow us immediately to move higher. It would put some doubt on the bullish case here. In an ideal pattern, we would now hold support in this area and then move up in a fifth wave, in a fifth wave of three. And um, yeah, where will that land? This is now a bit difficult to establish because we had a massive rally and I need to know where way four will end. So it's a bit hard to say, but I would say somewhere maybe around the 43, 44 cent area for the third wave here. Then there will be a fourth wave down and a fifth wave up. Could take us maybe into the, you know, 44, 45, 46 cent range. And then this wave two will decide if the bullish potential is going to survive because this will be the correction of this move to the upside. And in any correction, any wave two correction, what would be important to hold is the 78.6% retracement. Depending on how high we go, of course, um, we will need to see where we are, but let's say we reach maybe the 46 cent level in this wave one, yeah, then it would be important to hold the 30, uh, 35.8% cent level in any retracement but for now it's looking good i think for now we can focus on higher very short term i think we can expect now this wave four or wave three retracement into wave four but generally as long as we're holding this support level here the focus can now be on higher interesting interesting day interesting chart okay so hopefully you like the update about ada um, if you did please hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe and if you really like the content then please check out the channel membership Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.